Subred on ice right on the station here, grr. Grr. Okay, for any of you who tried watching my Twitch video of Doki Doki Literature Club, for those of you who managed to catch it for the first few minutes that it was uploaded on YouTube, you'll know that there's no sound in the first act of, of this game. You know, the boring part that lasts four hours. And I was mad. I was so mad. I was so mad that I wanted to to break things, but I didn't break things. But I was mad, and I'm still mad. So I did a poll on DA. Says in my last journal, I told you how my stream for Doki Doki Literature Club failed. Do you guys still want to see me play it from the beginning, or would you rather I just start uh, Act Two? So the leading obviously is just play from the start of act two and then there was start the game over so you could play the boring part actually play it on your own instead make videos about your analysis of the game play it on your own but show us what happens when you tamper the files we don't care what is doki doki literature club and nobody said play it on your own don't show us anything so i'm just gonna play from act two now if you have not seen the game from the beginning I suggest watching a playthrough of it. Markiplier's is pretty funny. Uh, you might be able to find somebody who's playing it without, you know, having their voice over. It's actually more fun, though, when somebody has their voice over it. So, with that being said, I'm going to tell you right now that if you have not seen Act 1, many, many spoilers are ahead of you. So, if you don't want to, you know, have everything spoiled for you, Leave now, and come back when you've seen Act 1. So, last time on Doki Doki Literature Club, you kind of left her hanging this morning, you know? So What the hell? What the hell? Is this a nightmare? It has to be. This isn't real. There's no way this can be real. Sayori wouldn't do this. Everything was normal up until a few days ago. That's why I can't believe what my eyes are showing me. The music just unnerves me so bad. I suppressed the urge to vomit. Just yesterday, I told Sayori I would be there for her. I told her I know what's best, and that everything will be okay. Then why? Why would she do this? How could I be so helpless? What did I do wrong? Turning down her confession? That has to have been what pushed her over the edge. Her agonized scream still echoes in my ears. Why did I do that to her when she needed me the most? Why was I so selfish? This is my fault. My swarming thoughts keep telling me everything I could have done to prevent this. If I just spent more time with her, walked her to school, and gave her what I know she wanted out of our relationship, then I could have prevented this. I know I could have prevented this. Screw the literature club. Screw the festival. I just lost my best friend. Someone I grew up with. She's gone forever now. Nothing I do can bring her back. This isn't some game where I can reset and try something different. I had only one chance, and I wasn't careful enough. And now I'll carry this guilt with me until I die. Nothing in my life is worth more than hers. But I still couldn't do what she needed from me. And now, I can never take it back. Never. 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 And now we're left with this. <laughs> Sayori's not there. So this is fun. And if you can see in here, Sayori's character file is missing. This is supposed to say new game. When I load game, this one's still there. I wonder what happens. Okay. Save file is corrupt, starting a new game. Okay. 
I can see an annoying girl running toward me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. That girl is <laughs> my neighbor and good friend since we were children. You know, the kind of friend you'd never see yourself making today, but it just kind of works out because you've known each other for so long. We used to walk to school together on days like this, but starting around high school, she would oversleep more and more frequently and would get tired of waiting up. But if she's going to chase after me like this, I almost feel better off running away. However, I just sigh an idol in front of the crosswalk and let <laughs> catch up to me. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> it's an ordinary school day like any other. Mornings are usually the worst, being surrounded by couples and friend groups walking to school together. Meanwhile, I've always walked to school alone. <laughs> I always tell myself it's about time I meet some girls or something like that. But I have no motivation to join any clubs. I'm perfectly content just getting by on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. There's always the anime club, but it's not like there would be any girls in it anyway. The school day is as ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall, looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs. There really aren't any that interest me. Besides, most of them would probably be way too demanding for me to want to deal with. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Shinji? <laughs> Monica? Now, in Japanese, her name is probably pronounced Monika, but since I don't know for certain, I'm gonna call her what everybody else calls her, Monica, because I'm Merkin. Oh my goodness, I totally didn't expect to see you here. Now, what I tried in my last video um, is I'm trying to make it sound like a badly English-dubbed anime, so... It's been a while, right? I'm totally not flirting with you in this pose. Ah, uh, yeah, it has. Monica smiles sweetly. We do know each other. Well, we rarely talked, but we were in the same class last year. Monica was probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic. Basically, completely out of my league. So having her smile at me so genuinely feels a little... Giggity. What did you come in here for, anyway? Oh, I've just been looking for some supplies to use for my club. Do you know if there's any construction paper in here? Or markers? I guess you could check the closet. You're in the debate club, right? <laughs> About that. I actually quit the debate club. Really? You quit? Yeah. To be honest, I can't stand all the politics around the major clubs. It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. In that case, what club did you decide to join? My ear itches. Actually, I'm starting a new one. A literature club! <laughs> that took me by surprise. Literature? That sounds kind of... Dole? I was in a writing club in high school. Um, I wasn't very active in it because, I don't know, it was during lunch and I don't know. How many members do you have so far? Um, <laughs> it's kind of embarrassing, but there are only three of us so far. It's really hard to find new members for something that sounds so boring. Well, I could see that. But it's really not boring at all, you know? Literature can be anything. Reading, writing, poetry. I mean, one of my members even keeps her manga collection in the club room. Wait, really? Yeah, it's funny, right? She always insists that manga is literature, too. I mean, she's not wrong, I guess. And besides, a member is a member, right? Did Monica say she? As in... Boobs? Hey, Shinji. By any chance, are you still looking for a club to join? Uh, I mean, I guess so, but... In that case... 
Is there any chance you could do me a big favor? I won't ask you to join, but if you could at the uh, very least visit my club, it would make me really happy. You know, really happy. Please. Um... Well, I guess I have no reason to refuse. Besides, how could I ever refuse someone like Monica? <sighs> sure, I guess I could check it out. Ah, awesome! You're really sweet, Shinji, you know that? It's nothing, really. Shall we go then? I was just thinking about her boobs. I love boobies! And how in anime it seems... Like, the boobs are always around the collarbone. I just think it's funny. It's like it looks wrong if it's not. <laughs> I'll look for the materials in a, uh, another time. You're more important. And thus today marks the day I sold my soul for cupcakes. I mean, to Monica and her irresistible smile. I timidly follow Monica across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit, being generally used for third-year classes and activities. Monica, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. I'm back! <laughs> if I remember correctly, that's a rare occurrence. By the way, I've already seen this game played to the end, and I've uh, looked up lots of secrets, I've look looked up all the endings, etc, etc. I know what happens, so it's gonna take me off guard just because of my bad memory, but I, I do know that these things are going to happen. And I brought a guest with me! <gasps> <laughs> huh? A, a guest? Seriously, you brought a boy? Way to kill the atmosphere! Don't be mean, Natsuki. But anyway, welcome to the club, Shinji. Ellipsis? All worlds escape me in this situation. I said world time at words. This club is full of incredibly cute girls. <laughs> so, let me guess. You're Monica's boyfriend, right? What? No, I'm not. Natsuki. The girl with the sour attitude, whose name is apparently Natsuki, is one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. Uh, anyway, this is Natsuki, energetic as usual, as usual, and this is Yuri, the vice president. It's nice to meet you. Yuri, who appears comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with someone like Natsuki. Yeah. It's nice to meet both of you. <laughs> so, uh, so I ran into Shinji in a classroom and he decided to come check out the club. Isn't that great? Wait, Monica! Didn't I tell you to let me know in advance before you brought anyone new? I was going to... Well, you know... Sorry, sorry. I didn't forget that, but I just happened to run into him. In that case, I should at least make some tea, right? Yeah, that would be great. Why don't you come sit down, Shinji? The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. Yuri walks to the corner of the room and opens the closet. Meanwhile, Monica and Natsuki sit across from each other. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Monica. So, I know you didn't really plan on coming here, but we'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the Literature Club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. Are you, Shinji? Are you? It must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention, like literature. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. But it makes school events, like the festival, that much more important. I'm confident that we can all really grow this club before we graduate. Right, Natsuki? Well... I guess... Natsuki reluctantly agrees. Such different girls, all interested in the same goal. Monica must have worked really hard to find these two. Yuri returns to the table, carrying a tea set. 
She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot in the middle. You keep a whole tea set in this classroom? Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Uh, I guess. D did you notice that you have the biggest boobs out of all of the girls in this club? <laughs> <laughs> Don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. Uh, th th that's not it. Oh, that's not. Insulted, Yuri looks away. I meant that, you know. I believe you. Let's just forget about it. Well, tea and reading might not be, m be a pastime for me, but at least I enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. So, Shinji, what kinds of things do you like to read? Well, uh, considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. M manga. I mutter quietly to myself, half joking. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. It looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. Not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. But you know, I like a lot of things, like knives. Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. My inflections are weird sometimes. Isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop? Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Ah, I read a horror book once. I pissed my pants. <laughs> I desperately grasped something I can relate to at the minimum, a minimal level. At this rate, you might as well be having a conversation with a rock. <laughs> I'd expect that from you, Yuri. It suits your personality. Oh, is that so? Really, if a story makes me think, or takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. Surreal horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. Uh, I hate horror. Oh, why's that? Well, I just... Natsuki's eyes dart over to me for a split second, as if I reminded her of something horrible. Never mind. That's right, you usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? Wh what What gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind last club meeting. It looked like you were working on a poem called, Don't say it out loud! And give that back! Fine, fine. N uh, Natsuki, you write your own poems? Eh? Well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? No! Natsuki averts her eyes. You wouldn't like them. Ah, uh, not a very confident writer yet. I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. Do you have writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example and help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. Ellipsis. <laughs> I guess it's the same for Yuri. We all sit in silence for a moment. Hey, I just got an idea, still not flirting with you. How about this? Ellipsis question mark? Natsuki and Yuri look quizzically at Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. 
Then, next time we meet, we'll all share them with each other. That way, everyone is even. Uh, um... Ellipsis. <laughs> ah, <laughs> I mean, I thought it was a good idea. Well, I think you're right, Monica. We should probably start finding activities for all of us to participate in together. I... Oh, I did decide to take on the responsibility of Vice President, after all. I need to do my best to nurture the club as well as its members. Besides, now that we have a new member, it seems like a good step for us to take. Do you agree as well, Shinji? I'm put on the spot. Hold on, there's still one problem. Heh, what's that? Now that we've reached the most important topic, I bluntly come forth with what's been on my mind the entire time. I never said I would join this club. Monica may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decision. I still have other clubs to look at, and... Um... I lose my train of thought. All three girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. B but... I'm sorry. I thought... Hmm. Eh. The girls exchange glances before Monica turns back to me. I... guess I need to tell you the truth, Shinji. The thing is, we don't have enough members yet to form an official club. We need four. And I've been trying really, really hard to find new members. And if we don't find one more before the festival... Ellipsis. I'm... I'm defenseless against these boobs. How am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision while it's like this? I would feel terrible for letting everyone down in this situation. And besides, the club itself seems pretty pretty relaxed, except for me, with my gin my ginormous boner. <laughs> so if writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful boobs, right. Okay, I've decided then. I'll join the literature club. One by one, the girl's <laughs> eyes light up. Oh my goodness, really? I totally didn't manipulate you into saying yes. Do you really mean that, Shinji? Yeah... <laughs> it could be fun, right? You really did scare me for a moment. I mean, if you really just left after all this, I would be super pissed. Shinji, I'm so happy. We can become an official club now. Thank you so much for this. You're really amazing. I'll do everything I can to give you a great time, okay? Uh, thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remember tonight's assignment. Write a poem to bring to the next meeting so we can all share. Monica looks over at me once more. Shinji, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, can I really impress the glass star, Monica, with my mediocre writing skills? I already feel the anxiety welling up inside me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit-chat as Yuri cleans up the, t uh, the tea set. I guess I'll be on my way then. Okay. I'll see you tomorrow then. I'm still not flirting with you. I can't wait. With that, I depart the club room and make my way home. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the three girls. Natsuki... Yuri, and of course, Monica. Will I really be happy spending every day after school in a literature club? Perhaps I'll have the chance to grow closer to one of these vaginas. Alright! I'll just need to make the most of my circumstances, and I'm sure good fortune will find me. And I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. You mean listing a bunch of words that possibly apply to one of the girls? <laughs> You have unlocked a special poem. Would you like to read it? I can't convince myself to go to therapy when I'm the happiest I've ever been. I'd rather keep this up until I blow my cover and someone takes me to the emergency room. Now, I'm not sure... I'm pretty sure this is Yuri's. I mean, it's not really a poem. It honestly could be Yuri's or Sayori's, even though she's not in the game right now. Okay, let's do what I did last time. 
So last time, the first poem, I decided to pick every positive word that applies to me. So, cute, sing, marshmallow, and strawberry. Obviously, this is gonna apply to Natsuki. Kawaii, a fluffy, and candy games. Climax! Beauty. Party. Sugar. Chili. Chocolate! What does Doki Doki actually mean, anyway? Sparkle. Pink. Shiny. Rainbow. 